Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have a problem out of Chapter 2. If you took Business 233 at Excelsior, you probably are aware that most instructors really push you to use StatCrunch as the tool of choice. And it's a good tool for most things you do in academic statistics. But there are some problems where StatCrunch is not the best tool. In my mind, the next best tool is Excel, and it's a tool that you need to learn to use if you're going to be in business for a career. So this particular problem, if you look at it, we're given a partially complete table, and we need to complete it. We need to find the frequency that's missing here for this A category, and we need to find the relative frequencies for the other categories. And you can do it with a hand calculator, but Excel does it much, much easier. So I'm just going to click on the little rectangle and open an Excel. Excel will drop down to the bottom, the, the data file with, and then we'll open the Excel. We need to enable editing. And here's our data. You can see we've got everything we need to figure out this first frequency. And we'll use an equal to put a formula. We want the total minus the sum, I'm going to click that function, and of these other four categories. And then put the closing parentheses and hit enter. And that gives me 24 for this first value there. The relative frequency is just the simple division of the frequency divided by the total. And that's the 0.06. And I'll show you. We'll hit equal. And we're going to take that column. And we're going to divide it by the total. And that'll give us the 0.06. Now, in Excel, we like to reuse those formulas. And so we can just drag it down the other four. But to do that, we need to lock down the references for this cell B7. And we can hit the F4 key once to put the double dollar signs in and hit Enter. And that changes it to a slot down. Now I can just drag down that formula to get my relative frequencies for the other categories. And that's it. It's, it's quick and it's easy and it'll save you from making mistakes if you do it manually in a hand calculator.